Hi guys, and welcome to today's video as, oh my goodness, what is happening? We'll start that over. Hi guys, and welcome to today's video. As you can tell by the title, today is my 10, what am I doing? My 10 things that you need to know before nursing school. I wish that these were things that I knew going into it. So I thought I would make this video because I thought it would be helpful for you guys if you're pre-nursing or even if you're just starting nursing school. Also, if you're new here, I'm Abby. I make videos about nursing school. Welcome to my channel. You should go ahead and subscribe down below and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. That way you don't miss any other nursing tip videos. Let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, so tip number one, the first thing that I wish I knew going into nursing school was how serious it is. Everyone takes it very seriously, and I should have known that going in, but I just don't think I realized the level of seriousness, especially with professors. So due dates, deadlines, timelines, any of that stuff, there is no leeway. If you go to turn in an assignment late, you get zero points for it. With us, we have in-class quizzes, and if you miss class, you just don't get to take the quiz and you automatically get a zero for it. Being on time, so say you're supposed to be at a clinical at 7 a.m., showing up at 7 a.m., you're considered late. Being 15 minutes early is considered on time. If you have a clinical at 7, they expect you to be there at 6.45 a.m., waiting, ready, prepared, ready to go. Same thing with class. If you have a class that starts at 7 a.m., the exact same thing. They expect you to be there at 6.45 with your notes out, your computer set up, whatever you need in your space to be ready to learn so they can start right at 7 a.m. They don't want to be waiting for you. And with our clinical, if you are late, if you text them and say, hey, I'm two minutes away, I got stuck in traffic, they might be like, okay, it's fine, get here safe when you can. There are other clinical instructors that if you text them and say you're running late and you didn't give them enough notice, they're not gonna have any forgiveness and they'll tell you to go home. The second thing that I didn't realize was how important anatomy is. I kind of wish I paid more attention in anatomy and physiology before because I would have just worked a lot harder in that class. There are certain times when I'm like, wait, what does that do? Or going into nursing school, they expect you took anatomy before you started, so you should know all this information and they're not really gonna refresh you on it. The third thing that I was not expecting about nursing school is the grading scale. The grading scale in nursing school is really different than anything before and this is not something I was prepared for at all. So an A at my school is 94 to 100%. An A minus is a 91 to a 93. A B plus is an 88 to a 90. A B is an 85 to an 87. A B minus is an 82 to an 84. A C plus, an 80 to an 81. A 78 to 79% is a C. And for our program, you have to have a 78% above to be considered passing. Opposed to a normal school, like a 78% would be almost a B. The grading scale is just a lot more intense and I don't think that's something I realized going into it. So I would just mentally prepare yourself for that and realize that you're held at a higher standard in the nursing program. And it can be hard. The thing that I was not expecting in nursing school was the NCLEX style questions. I'd heard about this before, but I didn't really know what it meant. And it probably isn't something you'll really understand until you get into your program, but I wish I knew about them before. So normally in prerequisites or any other schooling that you've done before, pretty much strictly memorization. The mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. Memorize it, know it, you're good. Nursing school, not that way. A lot of nursing school is NCLEX style questions. If you don't know what the NCLEX is, that's the exam that you take after nursing school to get your license and work as an RN. So when you graduate your nursing program, you have a bachelor's degree of science in nursing, but you're not allowed to work yet. After you graduate, you then go on to take a test called the NCLEX, and that test is what gives you your license. You're officially a registered nurse, and then you can work. All throughout nursing school, they do what's called NCLEX style questions, and basically they're questions that are worded and formulated to get you to start thinking the way you're gonna have to think to pass the NCLEX, if that makes sense. They're not memorization, they're strictly application-based, which means you have to take the information you learned in class, you saw in clinical, and apply it to a real-life scenario. Okay, here's a patient. This is what they look like. Tell me what you're going to do to fix it. And that can be really hard, and that can be really hard to grasp, and that can be really hard to answer on questions, because something that you'll hear once you're in nursing school is all the answers are right, but you're still wrong. And that's because a lot of the answers are really close to being right, but one is the best one. And like style questions are something you have to prepare for, you have to get ready to be able to apply the knowledge that you have, not just memorize it and spit it back out because that is not what nursing school is. The fifth thing I wish I would have known before nursing school was 
it's okay to be nervous in clinical. It's okay to be nervous in the hospital. It's okay to be nervous in front of your patients. It's okay to be nervous in front of your nurse. You practice these skills in the lab and then you go to the hospital and your nurse is like, okay, do this skill. And you, it, everything's gone. Your whole brain's gone. You don't know where it went and it flew away. That can be really intimidating and just know that that's okay. Your nurses do not expect you to have all the answers all the time. If you get things wrong, that's okay. The clinical setting is a learning environment and that's the whole point is for you to learn. And the only way you're gonna learn is if you screw up every once in a while. So it's okay. One thing I wish I had been prepared for was the long hours. So you're gonna be spending a lot of time. Nursing school takes up a lot of your time. And I've had a ton of girls message me on Instagram saying, well, I wanna be a nurse, but I don't wanna give up hanging out with my boyfriend. And I don't wanna give up hanging out with my friends. And I don't wanna give up spending time with my family. The nursing school might not be the best option for you. And I hate to say that, but I have to be honest it takes a lot whether it's driving to and from class spending time in class which lectures are usually three hours you have to go into the lab and practice your skills and then you have to go to clinical i do 12 to 14 hour shifts and none of that included studying studying takes up a ton of time guys nursing school is hard i'm just going to be brutally honest with you it's hard and be prepared to be putting in a lot of time because it takes a lot and if you're not willing to do that then maybe nursing is not the right route for you the seventh thing is prioritization i didn't really realize and i guess this kind of mingles in with the last one whether that be study time time to go to the gym time to take a shower time to cook dinner time to hang out with connor time to see my family i didn't realize how much i have to prioritize my time to fit everything in because if you don't prioritize your time you're gonna lose track of things and you're gonna forget about assignments and exams and study time tip number eight is knowing your study techniques now this is something that I have to reevaluate every the beginning of every semester the beginning of every class I kind of readjust a little bit so it's okay if you don't know for sure but kind of have a baseline of what has worked for you in the past when it comes to studying it might be completely different once you get into nursing school but if you have an idea going into it, it's going to make that adjustment and figuring it out period a little bit less rocky. Tip number nine is don't be afraid to ask questions. I went into nursing school feeling like a timid, shy little bird who is afraid to ask anything. And now, mm -mm, I don't care. If I don't understand, if I don't know, I'm going to ask because that's the only way you're going to learn to advocate for your patients in the future. Doctors make mistakes. Nurses make mistakes. They're human, they're people, they're smart, but they make mistakes. And so if you see something happening in the clinical setting that you don't understand, or you're like, whoa, 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 this seems wrong, ask, it's okay. Now be polite and don't be contradictory about it, but ask questions, don't be afraid to stand up for you and your knowledge. The only way you're gonna be a good nurse is if you are willing to ask questions and think through things and critically think. Because and the last thing that I wish I knew before nursing school is that it is the hardest thing in the world but it's so incredibly rewarding. I absolutely love it. I have had my moments where it's such a struggle, but I'm now at the point that I freaking can't wait to get into my senior year, to get into my internship, my practicum, to do what I want to do, to work in the specialty I want to be in, to get back to what I love. And it's absolutely incredible. It's so rewarding. I know it's a lot. I know it's hard. I get it. I've been there. We all do. Anyone who's a nurse understands. So just keep pushing through. You're going to do great. It's going to be awesome and you're gonna be an incredible nurse at the end. So when the moments get hard in the program, which it will, just remember the reward that's coming at the end and that's that you get to be a nurse. You get that honor of caring for people and taking care of them in some of their hardest moments in life. So just be ready and it's gonna be wonderful. It's a great, it's a bumpy ride, but it's so great and it's so beautiful at the end. So push through, you can do this. If you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to comment them down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Love you all so much. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, give this video a thumbs up. And again, don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.